Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? It's time for another video from Pinnacle Studio Pro. All right, this isn't really a two request, but it was a question that I got asked. So I decided to throw it up in the mix, tell you people a little bit of info. I got a question off of YouTube where a viewer asked me, what are the best places to go to get support for Pinnacle Studio 16 and Avid Studio? So you know I had to give it to you. I had to break it down. I had to let you know, and here's how it go. How did you do that? Whoa, holy shit. Oh, oh boy. All you have to do is ask. And we're gonna start off with our number five pick, which is the Pinnacle Studio Pro Facebook page, all right? So this Facebook page is our Facebook page, all right? Now, the reason why it's number five is because I'm not on Facebook all the dang time. I can't be everywhere at once. I don't have a staff that works for me to help give information all the time. I'm answering almost all the questions. As a matter of fact, I got a help from two of my boys, my peeps, Anthony Pierre, we call him Tony P, and Jeff Naylor from another one of the sites that I'm gonna get to in a minute that answers great questions on Pinnacle Studio 16 and Avid Studio. But as you can see, on a Facebook page, you're gonna get a lot of information about equipment, about things going on with Pinnacle Studio, things going on with Avid Studio. You get questions answered, you'll get to see my tutorials and a whole bunch of other fun stuff, questions, all that good noise. So, check it out if you get a chance, all right? Coming in at number four on the list, we got PinnacleStudio.info, all right? This is a great place to go. Whether you're looking for information on Pinnacle Studio 16, earlier versions of Pinnacle Studio, and Avid Studio, it's a website made by your boy Jeff Naylor, who basically is the guru, I call him the god of Pinnacle and Avid Studio. He's the man, he's been into it for years. He has a lot of great information on this site, news, info, things to help you fix problems with your software all kind of great stuff. So if you just want to look up some stuff and find some solutions to problems that happen on a regular basis to some people, that's the place to go. Now number three on the list is Declick Video Effects. Now Declick Video Effects is a website out of France and they have a lot of information on Pinnacle Studio 16, Avid Studio, and previous versions of Pinnacle Studio as well. And guess what? They got information on plugins, how to help you out with plugins. They got information on transitions. They give away a bunch of free transitions that you can utilize for your videos. A lot of great transitions they give away. They answer questions on a regular basis. Uh, as long as you ask the questions at the correct place, they will get with you and help you out. They do a great job. They've been helping people with Pinnacle Studio for freaking years, okay? And I mean, they, they must have been like six years old when they started because they've been doing it for a minute and they do it with precision, baby. They do it right. Number two on the list is Pinnacle Studio Customer Support, brought to you by Corel. Now, it's a great place to go, all right? Now, if you're under warranty or whatever, you get a little support code you can use to get help while you're under your warranty. You know, you can go ahead and contact customer support for help. Uh, they have uh, documents that you can go to for known issues. They have a, a database of known issues that you can go to. Great place to get information to help you out. Uh, you know, I've been hearing this and that and the other about the customer support, so you know, try it yourself, see how you like it. If you don't like it, you still got our number one option. Our number one place to go get help for Pinnacle Studio and Avid Studio is the Pinnacle Studio Avid Studio Forum. I love it. This is the spot, all right, people? This is the place you need to go to get your help. This is the primary number one spot the other spots will help you too, but this is the best place in my opinion. The reason why, because there are a lot of professional video editors, people with years of experience with Pinnacle Studio who are on this site helping each other make things happen. That's what it's all about. It's about making things happen. It's about getting your software to work. It's about making connections. It's about forming a community. And the Pinnacle Studio and Avid Studio Forum does just that. Gets you help, forms a community, a, a, a list of individuals you can go to for help whenever you need them. Now, like I said, I got two of the people from this forum that helped me on my Pinnacle Studio Pro Facebook page. 
The reason why is because I get on there and I help out and I do things and we form the bond and we've become internet buddies. So because of that, they are able to help me out and I'm able to help them out when I can. So, you know, it's much love. Now, if you go there, you got to register in order to ask your own question, but you can just go through the threads and see if you can find search for your issue and see if you can get it corrected just by doing a search without registering. I would recommend that you register so that you can go ahead and get the full benefits of being able to ask questions as well as look for answers. All right, people, that's it. Where to go for Pinnacle Studio and Abbott Studio support. If you know of a place that you think provides better support, gets better service, answers questions better, let me know. Leave your comments below and share with everybody else so they know where to go get the help. If you're looking for the links to get to these programs, you can go to the video description or you can just go to my channel and go to the about section. All the links have been there since day one, baby. So you always have been able to go there and get all the help you need. I don't mind you asking me questions, but if you want more help and more options, Go to my YouTube channel, go to the About section, and look for the link that you prefer. And you know what to do when it comes to these videos. There's a thumb. The one that's pointed in the upward direction. Click it, like it, live it, love it, hug it. Alright? Comments. You know I love them. I love comments like a fat kid loves cake. So leave me your comments, alright? And I'll get back to you if I can. If you have a tutorial request, please leave your comment below. Leave your request for your tutorial. And maybe I'll do it. Maybe I won't. Who knows? And last, but definitely not least, don't you ever forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon. Thank you.